when it comes to prosperity, remarkable differences remain between and within regions, countries, and societies. In the past, economic growth often occurred without providing the opportunity of participation and reward to significant segments of the population, especially women and youth. Poverty remains the central challenge for our world, but we have effective means to eradicate it within the next generation. There's not a single country in this world that has reached a high stage of economic and social development without having developed an advanced industrial sector. Industrial development and trade in industrial goods have a proven track record in effectively reducing poverty. The early industrial revolutions in Europe, the United States and Japan, and the more recent examples of the latter half of the 20th century, including in the Republic of Korea, China, and the many other Asian tigers and dragons, speak for themselves. For many developing countries, these successful examples represent models for effectively lifting large numbers of people out of poverty. Industry is an important source of employment, accounting for almost 500 million jobs worldwide, or about a fifth of the world's workforce. Manufacturing industries and their related services sectors can absorb large numbers of workers, provide them with stable jobs and good benefits, and increase the prosperity of their families and communities. An efficient agro-industry enhances economic stability for rural households, increases food security, and helps economic transformation. Any progress on poverty eradication will be short-lived if we do not achieve the necessary economic growth within an environmentally sustainable framework. There is no country that has yet fully resolved the issues of waste management, water purification and pollution. Yet experience shows that environmentally sound production methods in industry can significantly reduce environmental degradation. We have the technological capabilities for cleaner industrial production today. Green industries can deliver environmental goods and services. Committing to sustainable production patterns makes business sense. It reduces the wastage of costly resources and contributes to increased competitiveness. Similarly, since energy inputs represent an important cost of production for industries, clean energy and energy efficiency have progressively become core determinants of economic competitiveness and sustained growth. How much impact industry has on poverty eradication, environmental sustainability and food security is ultimately defined by the pattern of industrialization a country chooses to follow. A long-term strategy can put in place a framework of stable economic, legal and political conditions. It can also create incentives to invest in the necessary education, infrastructure, product quality, agribusiness solutions, innovation and entrepreneurial skills. Sound industrial policy making remains a top priority around the globe. At all levels of development, industry can be a primary driver in fighting poverty, ensuring food security and preventing social polarization. This is why there is a strong call today for integrating the economic dimension and the role of industry in particular into the global post-2015 development priorities. UNIDOP can help us build on the impressive progress we have made towards the MDG and help shape the implementation of post-2015 development agenda. In December 2013, UNIDO member states adopted the Lima Declaration, which focuses on inclusive and sustainable industrial development. This declaration will shape the future operations, spirit, and directions of UNIDO for many years to come.
First of all, every country must achieve a higher level of industrialization in their economies and benefit from the globalization of markets for industrial goods and services. No one should be left behind in benefiting from industrial growth and prosperity should be shared among women and men in all countries. Broader economic and social growth must be supported within an environmentally sustainable framework. New approaches are needed to globally harness and share available knowledge, technology and innovation. Finally, all of this should be supported through multi-stakeholder partnerships. I'm convinced that inclusive and a sustainable industrial development will be a key driver for the successful integration of the economic, social and the environmental dimensions of sustainable development. Combining our efforts to reach this goal will be the ultimate priority for UNIDO in the years ahead. The world needs inclusive and sustainable industrial development to do its part in seizing the moment and contributing to the common good.